There's nothing to be afraid of. Out on the open road with your old man, seeing the sights. But it's boring. Who's going to even see? about your job. You're just a milkman. You'll see be surprised at the amount of work I get. I mean, I get new orders all the time. Many of them are repeat customers. What's so hot about getting milk delivered? Didn't the milkman, like, come extinct like a couple centuries ago? <laughs> What's so strange about it? People go to the store for food, yet some people get their food delivered. How is this any different? Let's see. So, we're going to a random destination? No, no, no. Well, it, you know, you understand that this could make a comeback. You know, that, uh, I mean, look at vinyl records. I mean, <laughs> Nobody expected that to make the recovery it did. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of hipsters. Who <laughs> knows that music sounds better when it's not portable? <laughs> that it makes it expensive. Hard to uh, kind of store collectible. make a delivery. Now, I don't know the person's name. I've never told the person's name. All I'm given is an address, a set of directions, and a drop point. A what? A drop point. You know, somewhere to drop the package when you arrive. Like under a car or behind a barn. <laughs> Sometimes in a warehouse. Or even under a bush. Somewhere out of sight of prying eyes. So you've never met your client face to face? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to a untracked forest to be a to bring this milk to a mystery person at an undisclosed location. Correct. <laughs> so far. I mean, our, our, our customers like anonymity. And, um, well, uh, well, you see, uh, well, we're just going through the woods. Just kind of going by my instinct. I'm pretty positive we passed those set of trees a while ago. Are you even following your GPS? Oh, I don't use the GPS. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. My boss says that those things can track your location. <laughs> so, why as a milkman does your location need to be hidden? That just doesn't make no sense to me. <laughs> I mean, you know, take this vehicle right here. My boss spent weeks looking on Craigslist for this exact vehicle. I mean, it's got a ton of cargo space and surprisingly good fuel efficiency. My gosh, there's even so many buttons and levers, you'd never imagine all the type of... But it's a windowless <laughs> van. It could have belonged to a serial killer. No, no, no. 
I'll look. I mean, nothing to be afraid of. I'm not quite sure when we'll get there. I mean, you're not scared or anything, are you? I mean, everybody's legitimate from everybody I've walked with. Talk to. But we're in a forest. Yeah, I mean, you know, what, what's, the, what's the type of people that are you know, working with there? Uh, you've described them as uh, unsavory. I, I'd really like you to explain why you think they're so unsavory. So, I don't like the people that you're around. I feel like you're being played as a fool. They really are unsavory people. Well, why do you feel that way? I mean, tell me. I'm your father. I can take it. Come on. Tell me. Well, I don't want to say it. But I think you're a drug mule. What? <laughs> no, no, no. No way, man. No. I do not. I do not do illegal deliveries. I oh my God. am a hard-working milkman. Why didn't I think of that before? The reason we have a big house and why we have our own personal security? <laughs> What's mom going to say? Oh, now, now, now. You don't need to worry about that, Riley. I mean, look, everything we're doing is perfectly safe, okay? There's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> what was that? That sounded like a gunfire. Oh, goodness. I think I've tire got popped or something. Hold on, I'll check it out. Don't move! I'm so happy I can see him! Oh, officer, you're here just in time. Say what happened to our team. Get back I can see him! Dad, who are you talking to? Oh, it's just an officer of the law now. There's nothing to be concerned about. What are you swearing about? Last time I checked, the police officers don't wear masks for their uniforms. Hey, I think he said he'd be alone. What gives? Great. So, are you using me as a, like, scapegoat? I knew you were a drug runner! Yeah, calm down, calm down, you two. Everything here is perfectly explainable. Quit playing games! Open the back of the van! Well, why? What are you wrong with what's back there? You know what? I'm not playing games! But, but it's just powdered milk. I just let you 
let you take the package, you could have paid for your kid's college. No, I must apologize. I've been loading a loaded gun in your faces. <laughs> Here, this is what I'll do. I'll call the tow service, and I'll cover the cost. Oh, no, there's really no need for that. It's not that much trouble. No, I insist. For all the trouble I've been through, I, let me do this. I'm overdosing on crazy pills. First, I think my dad's a criminal. But then, a criminal's helping us, and he's becoming friends with him. I, I'm going to need a lot of therapy after this. I'll be right back, and I'm going to make a call. Well, what a nice guy. <laughs> he points none at us. He threatens. Kill us? Yeah, he's a chum. <coughs> you know, one minute he's about to take your milk, the next minute he's calling a tow truck to help us out. Sometimes you really just don't know a guy. <laughs> I would have said it better myself. The tow truck's coming pretty soon. Hey, I never got your name. Oh, your name's Jamie. Pleasure to meet you. Tyler, pleasure's all mine. Jamie. I've been wondering since I met you that your milk was not drugs, but if it's just milk, then why was your employer going through all that nonsense to make it so anonymous and undetected? Finally someone has a real question! <laughs> Funny you should ask. You see, the type of milk I deliver contains a rare and highly sought after ingredient that only comes from penguin excrement. <laughs> okay. Um, glad I asked. Yeah, I mean, the people that want to buy it, we never see their names because clearly they want to be kept completely anonymous. Because face it, they don't want to know who they are. And you can't help but laugh at someone who willingly drinks Arctic ash juice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost my stomach on that one. <laughs> so what's going on? So that's why all the, the, the things, you know, why they're kept anonymous, and what the guys don't even know, the people that buy this, is that there's no benefit to it whatsoever. Oh. We're just taking advantage of a bunch of hipsters that want the latest thing. <laughs> I tell you, if there's one lesson to be learned here, is that if you want to be a criminal, Legally. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are not so different. So, Jamie, here's my number. And if you ever want to go bowling or get a beer or something, yeah. give me a call. Oh! Oh! Thanks, man. I will do that. You as well. <laughs> so, what just happened? Oh, just two criminals. In the wrong place at the wrong time, finding common ground. Mm -hmm. Unexpected, but beautiful. You said it the best. <laughs>